secret call he had with Dallas Cowboys that changes everything. It turns out that President Donald Trump has found an NFL team he finally agrees with. It turns out that, after the Cowboys kneeled the other night, the president had a private call with club owner Jerry Jones. During that call, Jones managed to explain his logic to the president and, by the end, Trump was clearly singing the praises of America's team. It turns out that the whole kneeling thing was all part of Jerry's plan because he respects the flag so much. He got his team to go out and kneel before the national anthem. Then they all rose for the anthem and paid respect to our fallen troops. To be honest, that's a pretty smart compromise. It's no wonder Trump was impressed. There is nothing wrong with peaceful protesting. Heck, it's one of the most American things there is. However, it's important to remember that there is a time and place for everything and those 30 seconds dedicated to our fallen veterans before a game is not the time to protest. Hero sniper Chris Kyle's widow just told the NFL players exactly what they needed to hear. There are not many people in our country who don't know the name of the legendary American sniper Chris Kyle. Well. Chris may be gone, but his wife Tia Kyle is alive, well, and heartbroken at what the NFL has become. You see, Tia and Chris were both big lovers of professional football. They saw it as a great uniting of Americans from all backgrounds around something we all care about. They honored our nation and our troops for a few seconds at the beginning of every game. Then they kneeling started. Last weekend Tyre found her breaking point when many of her beloved teams decided to kneel and disrespect the fallen American heroes like her husband. She wrote a letter to the NFL with a message that all Americans need to see. If you ever want to get off your knees and get to work on building bridges, let me know. She summed it all up pretty well reminding them about all the good they can do for their community during the offseason. For now, play football and honor our troops. You have a lot of strong guys, I am sure in the offseason a lot of them could build some pretty big bridges if they care enough to do the hard work. That would involve getting off their knees and getting to work though. I can do it while I raise two kids as their only parent and work through the greatest pain of my life, let's see if they can do it for the issues they say they care so much about. If you all think it's high time this whole kneeling during the anthem thing ends, then let the NFL know it by sharing this everywhere. America will fight back. Seconds after the Alabama race ended, the president called Moore and did exactly what he promised. President Donald Trump made no secret the last few weeks about his support for Alabama Senate candidate Luther Strange. However, Last night Strange lost out to Roy Moore in the Republican primary. So, did Trump decide to tear the party apart when his guy lost? Hell no. He went and called up Moore and offered him the full support and resources of the Republican Party to win his election in December. This right here is a very important lesson for the Republican Party to learn. They need to notice how the president supported the winning Republican instead of holding a grudge and making the whole party suffer for it. Heck, Roy Moore was so happy with Trump's endorsement, he went bragging about it on Twitter while it was happening. The lesson here is that unity is key. We need unity as Republicans and unity as Americans as a whole. If we can learn to work with each other ever again, like Trump did tonight, we can make America the greatest it has ever been. Share What Usain Bolt just sacrificed for Trump stunned the entire world. This is massive. President Donald Trump on Tuesday is not backing down. He just tweeted out the video of Usain Bolt who stopped and gave an interview in 2012. Look what Donald Trump said below. Usain Bolt sacrificed a minute of his time. Bolt retired this year. He was doing a live interview for television Espanola on the side of the back during the London Games in 2012. He immediately halted the interview and stood at attention for the U.S. national anthem. Wouldn't you love to see one of these NFL owners, when somebody disrespects our flag, 
to say, get that son of a bee off the field right now. He is fired. He's fired, he said. Share this if you think it's embarrassing that a Jamaican shows more respect to our anthem than our own athletes do. Jeff Sessions just dropped a bombshell on Fox News that'll have football players freaking out. Attorney General Jeff Sessions announced on Tuesday that NFL players that took the knee during the national anthem were making big mistake. He then said that President Donald Trump had every right to call them out. Phew. Way to go Jeff. I agree that it's a big mistake to protest in that fashion, Sessions said during a lecture about the importance of free speech on college campuses at the Georgetown University Law Center, adding that the player's action weakens the commitment we have to the nation that has provided us this freedom. Sessions defended the president in a rant going viral. Sessions then said that the football players should start standing for America. Every American, no matter what their views on the issues, should stand for America, should salute the flag. Share this if agree with Jeff Sessions. This is why Americans don't want to see these people kneel. It is disrespectful to all the people that died for that flag. Plain and simple. Breaking votes are in for Alabama Senate race and Trump can't believe who won. Republican challenger Roy Moore defeated Senator Luther Strange in Alabama on Tuesday after winning the rural vote. He fought against the incumbent backed by Donald Trump and Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell. Moore won 57 percent of the vote to Strange's 43 percent, when the Associated Press called the race with half of the precincts reporting. Strange was appointed to Jeff Sessions' old seat earlier this year, says Politico. Here is the live speech below. Moore's victory comes despite people like Mitch McConnell and Trump helping out Strange. Trump privately told conservative activists that Strange would lose, according to Politico. While we were honored to have fought hard for Big Luther, Judge Roy Moore won this nomination fair and square and he has our support as it is vital that we keep this seat in Republican hands, Senate Leadership Fund President Stephen Law said in a statement. Share this everywhere if you are ready for another Republican in the Senate and let's welcome Judge Moore on board the Trump train. Thanks for reading. Senate Intel had just revealed new fact about Russia on Facebook that Dems wanted to keep hidden. For several weeks now the media has been clamoring on and on about the $100,000 spent by Russians on Facebook ads during the election. To them, it was proof that President Trump colluded with the Russians. I say was, because Senate Intelligence Chair Richard Burr just shared a new fact that changes all of that. After a hearing with Facebook executives, it turns out that Russians on Facebook were targeting both parties with their ads equally. Burt told a group of reporters on Tuesday, there's nothing that could lean towards one candidate versus the other. I think there was equal money spent trying to create some type of chaos on both sides of the ideological spectrum. It turns out that they were less interested in getting someone elected than they were interested in dividing the nation on issues so that the right and left can never work again. This means they were not as pro-Trump as previously thought. Burr said that now he is interested in talking to all the people at Facebook necessary to prevent foreign money being spent on a U.S. election going forward. I think that's something we can all agree with. The important thing to get out from this is that Russia's election meddling on Facebook was not favoring either candidate specifically. It's super important to get this revelation out to every American within voting age immediately so they can all see the truth.